So the biggest issue with Elementor page builder is when you want to edit your header and footer, you cannot do that. You cannot create custom header footer if you don't pay for the pro version. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit the header and footer or you can create a custom header footer for your Elementor website without paying for the pro version. So log into WordPress dashboard and then hold on plugins and then click on add new and then search here Elementor header and footer builder. We are going to use this first plugin Elementor header and footer builder. You can see they got one plus million active installation with almost five star rating provided by more than 2000 people. So click on install now. Once it is installed, click activate. So plugins activated, you can find this plugin options in appearance and then Elementor header and footer builder. You can see there's no template found because we haven't created a custom header or footer. To create a custom header or footer, click here on add new. We will skip this step. And now a page will something like this open up. So first we'll create a header. So we'll give it a name custom header. And then you see this option add with Elementor. We can click here and we can design our header. But before that, we need to select some important options. So you see this option Elementor header and footer builder option. So we need to tell what kind of template we are going to create. For now, we are going to create a header template or you can say we are going to create a header. So we select the header from here. If you want to create a footer, there's the same procedure. You can choose a footer. So for now, we'll choose header and then we need to select where you want to display this header on. So we have multiple options here. We'll choose entire website because we want to display this header on entire website. If you want to create multiple or different custom headers for different pages, you can choose different options from here. But for now, we'll choose entire website. So this header will display on entire website. If you want, they have option for user roles. You can select from here. If you want to display certain header when people are logged in, you can create this header. And then you can create another header and then select logged out. So that header will display when people logged out. But to keep everything simple, you can choose all. So this header which you will create, it will display in the header of the website on entire website and for all the user roles. Don't worry too much about it. You can just select header here and entire website and you're good to go. So once you have selected this option, we click publish. If we go back to website and if I refresh the page, you can see there's no header because we haven't created a header, but we haven't designed it yet. So let's design this header. So click on add with Elementor. So here, this is our design page. On the left side, we have several widgets available. Using them, we can create our complete custom header. So you can see we have some basic options here. You can add inner section, headings, text, images, videos, lot of options here. If you scroll this left sidebar, we have pro option. We're going to hide it, not going to use anything pro. Then we have general options. We close this general widgets. And in the end, you will see we have this new widgets, which came this plugin we just installed. So we have Elementor header and footer builder widgets here. So before adding those widgets, let's create a basic structure for our header. So click here on plus icon. Let's choose this one, like two column structure. So you can see the two columns are added here. And then to go to the widgets, just click on these dots here. So we'll have all the options here. So we'll scroll this left side bar. And then we have all this important things available to create the header. So first we'll add the site logo. We'll drag it and we'll drop it in the first column. If you think this logo is really big, what you can do, you can make this column smaller. Just scroll it to the left side and then we can make the column smaller. So logo will automatically be smaller. And now we want to add menu items here. So we'll go back again to all widgets and then we'll scroll the left side bar. Instead of scrolling, what we can do, we can just close everything here. So we'll easily access these options. So now we'll drag navigation menu and we'll drop it here on the second column. You can see we just added the menu items on the second column. Okay, now they looks really bad. So if you want to display on the right side, what you can do, you can click here on layout and then align them where you want. If you want, you can align them center or on the right side. Looks real nice. One more thing, they look green. If you want to change the color, you can go to style and then scroll and then select the text color. If I want to make this black, I'll just select this to black. You can see the menu is now black. Okay, let's click again on this menu and then go to content. And if you want to make last item like a button, you can do it from here. So we'll select last menu item to button. You can see now the last menu item looks like a button. You can use any call to action or if you have a different menu, you can change it. And from here, you can select different menus. Right now, I have just one menu created on my website. You can create multiple menus on your website and you can use them in header or footer. 
If you want to watch a complete video how to create menu item, check the description of this video. And once done, click on update. If I go back to my website, if I refresh the page, you can see this is my new menu item which is completely customizable. We haven't paid anything for Elementor Pro, we did everything free of cost. So this is how you create custom header with Elementor Header Footer Builder. If you want to create a footer for the website, we'll hover appearance, we'll go back to Elementor Header Footer Builder. So here you can see we already have the custom header we created and now we want to create a footer. So we click on add new, we skip these steps and we'll say custom footer. And then you remember type of templates, we're going to select footer this time. And then we display on all entire website. And guys, make sure if you haven't selected this option, you will not see your footer or header. So once you have selected this, we can click on publish. And now we click on edit with Elementor. So now we'll repeat the procedure. We will first select a row design. So we'll say we want this three column row design for the footer. So we'll select it here. Then again, to select the widgets, we'll go here. And then we'll go to the end of the widget section. And we can add what you want on your footer too. But let's start the site logo. We'll add the site logo here. And then I'll go back to all the widgets. And this time I'll select something from the basic option. For example, if you want to add some text, I'll add a text here and I'll drop it just under the logo. And I can say this is a blog. Feel free to choose what you want to add here. Okay, once done, you select on style and you can align how you want. If you want to align center, I can align on center. For second column, you just click on plus, so you'll go to all widgets. And then we close this basic option, row 2, general 2. And then in the end, after the Elementor header and footer builder, we have WordPress options. So we'll select the WordPress options and we'll add the website pages here. You can see all the pages are added here. If you want to change the title, you can say important pages. And for the last one, if I click here, you can search map and then you can drag Google Maps and drop it here. And here you can add your locations. So map will change according to location. Once done, click on update. So this is our website. If I scroll the page, you can see there's no footer here. I refresh the page. You can see we have our custom footer here. You can design it how you want guys. It was just example how you can create head and footer using Elementor head and footer builder. So you do not need to pay anything for the pro version of Elementor. And I'm sure it will be helpful for a lot of people. If you want to learn in detail how to work with Elementor Page Builder and how to create website design, I created a complete video about it. Check this video on screen. And if you want to know how to increase website speed, check out this other video on screen. And like always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support the small creator like me on YouTube. I really appreciate that. And if you have any questions, don't forget to comment down the video. I answer all the comments on my channel.